So Jordan Brand just released information on 11 different shoes that are set to release in spring of 2021. So today we're gonna go over the shoes. I'm gonna give you guys my opinions about them, what I think about them now, and then obviously we'll see what they look like later, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video. That way you can know. And don't forget to hit the like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So we got a lot of shoes to go over, so I don't need to talk too much. Let's go ahead and get into it with sneaker number one. We have the Air Jordan 13 Retro Starfish. Me personally, I'm not a fan of orange colorway shoes in the first place. It's very rare that I actually really, really like an orange shoe. So I don't know if it's just because the Oregon Ducks versus Oregon Beavers type thing or whatever it may be. But for some reason, I'm not a big fan of orange shoes. And with this on this model, honestly, it's just not for me. Similar to the Lucky Green Air Jordan 13, I thought it was a fake version of a Ray Allen PE. And I feel like this could potentially be kind of one of those fake versions as well. Now, if they put an Oregon Beavers logo on it, again, ah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe because it's a PE and I would want to get it because I'm from Oregon, but I still wouldn't even like it. So overall, I'm just going to say it's a pass for me and I would only probably get these just to make a review for you guys. Next up is the Air Jordan 9 Retro. This looks like the Citrus 9s that came out from back in the day. What was that like early? I, I think that was like 2010 or something like that. I used to have those from way, way back in the day. And uh, these kind of look very similar to those, kind of like a shadow citrus version of that sneaker. I can not appreciate this one just because of that one and it's pretty simple it's not too much with that you know crazy like the orange on the last one i think these are a solid shoe personally probably wouldn't cop this sneaker but i could see why a lot of people would like these and it's definitely easy to wear next up we have another air jordan 9 in a women's colorway this one right here is like maybe like a easter 9 or something like that i'm not exactly sure but for me personally it's not really a go for me i don't really see any i don't know it's just like i don't know if it's the color blocking or whatever if this is what men's or women's colorway probably wouldn't have liked it and if this was like a special release or something like that i still wouldn't like it so yeah this personally just again not for me one thing that i can say that i love about sneakers is just because the sneaker may not be for me you can love it you can have your own opinion you can purchase the shoe i'm not the one buying your shoes and you're not the one buying my shoes and that's the best thing about it i'm just giving you guys my opinion and my two cents on what i think about the sneakers next up is a very interesting one this one i think i'm already on the fence about it and i feel like I'm kind of leaning towards not liking this one as well and this is the Air Jordan 5 I don't know exactly what the colorway is supposed to be for the name of it but it kind of looks like a metallic 5 but they switched a lot of the materials on the upper you kind of got like a shaggy kind of suede or something like that and then you got a mesh on the upper on the toe and the side and around the tongue and everything so for me I like classic old school vibes and this is giving like almost that old school vibe with the metallic but then they're switching it up with all these materials some type of like alternate or something. I'm not exactly sure. So could potentially be a cop, but not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to wait until I see when these come out and actually get them in hand and see them. But I probably would only want to buy this shoe at a discount if I were to buy it. Next up is the Air Jordan 5 Stealth. Now this one right here, bruh, they were so close. I thought they were gonna release the Stealth 5s from back in the day, just re-retro it the same exact colors, but they gave us like an alternate version. They switched things up, they moved colors around, and I would say out of all the shoes that I've listed so far, these ones would be the most copable for me. Uh, it's just so tough. Like these are my school colors. I used to have the Stealth Fives back in the day and rocked them all the time back in high school. And bruh, I just, I really enjoyed that shoe. So if they were to retro that exact same model, man, I would have been so happy. So I don't know if it's just simply because I had the old pair making me kind of, you know, feel differently about this pair, but I'm open to these and I'm willing to definitely check these out and maybe try to get these in a size 13 and see if I really want to keep them or not. Okay, next up is a very, very interesting one. And I honestly think it's already a cop for me simply because it's similar to a college series pack. It's like a broke man PE, but at the same time, I feel like I might actually like these because of the all baby blue on the upper when it comes to the Jordan 4. Now, typically the only type of baby blue that we see on the upper is the Cactus Jack Air Jordan 4. So to have another Air Jordan 4 with the blue upper like that, that's kind of similar 
similar, but you know, lighter of a blue. I think that's gonna be super dope. I like how they have the jersey size tag hit on the tongue, similar to kind of how like they did the Levi's pack and they switched the size tag and different things like that. So I see where they're going. If this was a PE, people would go crazy for it. I think maybe because it's more accessible, the price may not be super insane, but similar to the Carolina Air Jordan 3, that one was very, very similar to the PE that came out for the players. So this one right here isn't too similar to the PE that the players got. As you can see the differences between the two right here. At the same time, I definitely appreciate these and I'm definitely looking forward to checking these out when the springtime comes around. Around. So here we have another one with the orange vibes and honestly this doesn't even matter what my opinion is because these are coming out in women's sizes and this is an Air Jordan 4 and it's got like this orange mesh with the orange bottom and everything. It's very similar to the color blocking and style of the Air Jordan 4 bread but it has the orange hits instead and then obviously they switch the materials on the upper compared to like the Nubuck style or whatever it may be, Durabuck, whatever, whatever the material it is that they use these days. And now you got the mesh with the kind of see-through vibes with the different colors and stuff so again I don't really like the orange. Not sure how I feel about the switch up. They might look amazing in person and I could potentially have these grow to me. But even at the same time, they're probably not even gonna come out in my size if I were to like them. So honestly, I don't even know my opinion really matters about these. Drop a comment down below and let me know how you feel about these four. Now this one, this one right here. <laughs> yeah, I need a couple pairs of these. The Air Jordan 3 Cool Gray. Now, I had multiple pairs of these in the past and as time goes on, they start to age, the midsole starts to crack, different types of things like that. So you end up getting rid of the shoe and finally they decided to retro it and I'm so happy. Some people are mad they're retro on it and honestly, I'm very, very happy because I used to rock these all the time and I had multiple pairs and I had to get rid of them all because of aging and now I'm able to cop them again. So I'm very, very excited to get these and I'm definitely looking forward to finding out when the release date is and how I can get my hands on multiple pairs. Next up is an Air Jordan 1 High OG and this one is very, very interesting because it's kind of like those green ones that came out recently but then it's kind of got the zoom vibes on the back it's kind of a mixture of two different ones that they've been doing and I'm interested to see how these look in person they have the yellow they have the orange they got all this different stuff the way the materials and the cuts and the stitching and all those different things I'm on the fence about this shoe I might like it when I get it in person I might not and I don't even know so I'm gonna make sure I don't make a statement on how I feel about these yet again the orange might be throwing it off for me but they do got some yellow to compensate for it but at the same time I don't know if I like how the materials are cut on the front half of the shoe so we'll just wait and see when these come out and I'll let you guys know the final verdict now this one right here I am hoping and praying because they have done it before but not all the time oh please 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 sneaker gods make these in a size 14 and a half in women's and if you do let me get like two or three pairs because these go crazy bruh when i seen these i was like bro i have to get these these silver air jordan one highs bro these things are so fire oh my gosh oh my gosh i need those i need those i need those I, it's, it's a little flashy, but it's cool. I like them. I love them. I need them. How can I get them? Please make a size 14 and a half. If you make a 14 in women's, we'll make that work. I'm a men's size 13. We're going to have to try to make this work. I'll even take the insole out to rock these right here. Bruh, I need these for the toe. Why does everybody say that these days? I need those for the toe. I need a pair for the toe. <laughs> I never, I never, like, that's just like a new term that everybody's been coming up with over the past, like, year and a half, two years. Like, I've been hearing that a lot more lately. Okay, last and final shoe on the list. You know I had to save the best for last. The UNC Air Jordan 1. Originally, I was like, bro, why did they do the suede? And then I was like, you know what? This ain't that bad because that rookie of the year is actually pretty dope. And I like the way they have the material set up on that shoe. And if they recreate that same vibe but with the baby blue tone, these might actually be really fire so this shoe right here definitely a cop so for me i definitely need a couple pairs of these as well let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section i'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about all these sneakers again we won't know what all this stuff looks like until it gets in hand in person and i'll try to give you guys a review as i always do but as of right now those are my opinions i can't say i'm sticking with it because again once you get a shoe in hand it could potentially change but that's how i feel about everything right now off of initial impressions let me know what you guys think down below i'm out guys to go i'm gone 
Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm gone. Peace.